Hello Gemini, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and it will be from the 8th to the 14th of March 2021. So let's get straight into the reading, pull your overarching energy as you know we always do by now. So what do we have for Gemini please for the week? What is the overarching energy or theme for Gemini for the week? So I'm using the Tarot Grand Lux here, Gemini. I'll be using the Oracle Cards by Karen Kay, Mermaid and Fairy, and then um, Angel Eyes Cards, and then we will be using the Ciro Marchetti um, Tarot Grand Lux, and no, not Grand Lux, Tarot Royale, and uh, the Gilded Tarot. Okay. <laughs> trying to remember it all because so the overarching theme we have with Gemini is oh wow like those energies together the seven of swords and the ace of coins okay message for Gemini please angels spirits guides message for our lovely Gemini's thank you message for Gemini yes we have be spontaneous here, Gemini. You might be acting on impulse this week. You might feel spontaneous to go for something now. Interesting. Message for Gemini, please, Angel Spirits Guide. Message for our lovely Geminis. It feels very fool energy, you know, the fool, uh, which is all about taking that leap of faith, taking a chance. Obviously, there is a level of, of knowing the facts of the situation as well with this uh, Ace of Coins. Knowing the detail. What do we have for Gemini, please? Okay, we have within the next few weeks. <laughs> I like that energy very much. Okay, so let's pull the card, see what we have. So I'm using the Tarot Royale here. So the first three cards, you know by now, we will clarify, go deeper into the message and it won't resonate with everybody. So just take what resonates with you, Gemini. Okay, what do we have for Gemini, please? Angel Spirits Guides. Message for Gemini. Message for Gemini. Okay, two cards there, Gemini, two of swords and the world. Okay, <laughs> queen of pentacles, that is the advice from spirit. We have the four of wands as your outcome. Okay. Message for Gemini, please. Angel spirits guide, message for our lovely Geminis. Can we clarify the cards on the table for Gemini? Thank you. Let's clarify the cards on the table for Gemini. Thank you. 8th to the 14th of March, 2021. What do we have for Gemini? Thank you. Cards turned over. I thought, I'm sure a card turned over there. Did it turn over or turn back? No, I think it's turned back. Okay, let's crack on. Okay. What do we have for Gemini, please? Message for Gemini. Thank you. Ten of Swords. Justice with the Queen of Pentacles. And we have the Hanging Man and the Four of Wands, bottom of the deck, which is interesting because that was turned over. I mean, I've got the Knight of Swords there. And the Lovers, which is your card, Gemini. Ace of 
coins, Gemini. With the Seven of Swords, it's almost kind of like the ends just the end justifies the means, and the means is being covert, keeping something to yourself, not sharing it with anybody. I mean, this can be career financial opportunity, new financial opportunity, new career opportunity, with the Ace of Coins, and it's the beginnings of abundance. It's the beginnings of an abundant time for you, um, growth, uh, foundation something solid that you can really build on but it feels like you've been covertly putting something into action here and I was definitely getting this energy behind the scenes putting something into action now it can also mean moving relocating or it can be both both in your life you might be moving home for a job um, or moving home and getting a new job so either or in that situation, Gemini, but it feels for some of you that new beginning is going to happen within the next few weeks. The message is if there's a kind of helping hand here, divinely timed energy with the aces, they're all part of destiny. So the message is if an opportunity presents itself for some of you, if you know the information, if it feels right for you, be spontaneous. Obviously, it won't resonate with everybody. Because the Ten of Swords is a card of hurt wounds, being deeply hurt, wounded in a situation, betrayed. Uh, it's a card of sorrow, but it's it's a ten, which is a completion, and certainly in the challenge position, it is a time where those swords are ready to come out. Um, it's a time of healing. It heralds the end of a painful situation here. The, uh, and definitely this Two of Swords in the world is the difficulty in bringing closure to a situation. It definitely feels for some of you, I mean, I'm, I'm also getting the difficulty in accepting the end of a situation as well. I mean, the, the, the world card is in the challenge position, I mean, this is about a completion, an ending. And generally the world card is, you don't go back. You know, when the world card appears, this is an end of a situation that is not reversible, you know? Um, and it's to do with something that hurt you deeply. Uh, so this Two of Swords is almost kind of like not wanting to see the truth of a situation in terms of something finally completing. Or not having clarity, and it can also be not having clarity in how to move on, you know, it's, it's that kind of energy. But I definitely feel for some of you, I mean, there is this blind energy here. It's interesting because that justice is blind as well, you know. Um, and similarly with the Two of Swords, I'm definitely getting this energy of, of not wanting to see something for what it is. It feels like there's a problem with acceptance here, Gemini. Yeah, but I, I, I'm pleased to say at the end of this reading, I definitely get this idea of seeing the truth and finding direction for some of you. Because there's definitely this energy of and it might well be this completion just hasn't happened because you've been in a period of limbo. Let's clarify this justice. What is this justice for Gemini? Justice can be to do with legal situations, government institutions. It can also be to do with now is the time to restore balance in your life or something that comes in that's restoring balance. And it's to do with karma. Karma and destiny are playing a part here. So I definitely get this energy of, of the opportunity to restore balance in your life, release. Let's clarify what this justice is for Gemini, please. It's a card of Libra.
okay the car's not wanting oh there we are okay yeah so i like it with the the six of wands because it's finally putting a difficult situation behind you and again the six in tarot harmony equilibrium we have the balancing energy of the scales there as well i mean it feels for some of you you're reaping what you sow putting your energy into if you have been putting your energy into trying to move on but you haven't seen some kind of completion here the message is there is some kind of opportunity here that is allowing you that is that is allowing you to claim a significant achievement and success i mean it feels very good in terms of business and career here um, because the Queen of Pentacles, she is somebody who is, oh, I can, you know, she is somebody who is very successful in money and career. You might be meeting a Queen or, you know, I'm saying a Queen of Pentacles, male or female energy. But this is the abundant energy that I'm seeing again. So, you know, and she holds this, she holds the Ace of Pentacles. So I feel this, this person is linked this significant achievement coming your way, wrongs being righted by the universe. There is an element of destiny and timing here. I feel something is about to complete and be put behind you. And I'm saying that because sometimes I see the same wreath on the world that is on this card, the Six of Wands. It's not actually on the Marchetti deck. Um, but I definitely see this completion energy. And stepping through to a new phase of your life, there is some significant achievement that you're putting behind you. And this is an area of growth, um, abundance, success. She's a card of success. She might be making you an offer, male or female, but this queen might be making you an offer. Now, she represents, you know, can represent working parents. She can represent um, providing financially for yourself. So very good in terms of career, business, money, financial opportunity. So the, the success is coming. The hanged man appearing is an energy of something hasn't quite played out here. It can be a period of feeling in limbo, Gemini, and that's what I'm seeing here, this period of I haven't got full clarity in how to step through to a new phase of my life because something hasn't quite played out here. And again, with the hanged man, it can be a period of waiting. We experience limbo, periods of limbo. The, the, re the teaching of the hanged man is to look at something in a different way to put your, yourself in a position of surrender so you can gain enlightenment that you may not have seen had you not been in this period of limbo, period of reflection. You know, the hanged man is the things that we see, the inspiration that we see, the things that really come to us, that those moments of clarity and inspiration that we get when we're in that period of limbo. So for some of you, it could be for example, you know, if a career path hasn't worked out for you and an industry isn't recruiting, it's how you translate. The hanged man is, is the period of limbo and how you translate your skills and experience to other industries. You know, it's that kind of energy. Um, that's just one example, obviously, but you kind of get what I'm saying. It's the moments of inspiration, clarity that come your way. The Four of Wands, it's interesting to me because this feels to do with stability. Stability in your home, stability in your life. This is also a card of celebration and joy. It's the Happy Home card. Again, this energy of, of providing for you, protecting your home, your family, relationship, if you're in a relationship. Um, but it definitely feels in this energy here, Gemini that you are absolutely finding direction. I see this lovers as you connecting to who you are, you coming back to you, you being in your element. The Knight of Swords is air energy and it's Gemini energy. So I have two affirmations here of you feeling back in your power, back in control, back to where you need to be um, and finding direction and clarity here. The night can also represent news, information that is 
you might be waiting on some news or information and the message that it's coming i mean the hanged man is just that kind of delay but there's definitely this energy of it's coming and i feel it's coming with regard to some kind of offer opportunity with this queen of pentacles that represents a significant achievement and success so i feel this news is coming for some of you within the next few weeks this Seven of Swords is keeping something close to your chest here. I mean, for whatever reason here, it might well be, Gemini, that there are reasons for you to just be covert about this right now. Um, but it definitely feels that karma is on your side. If there's been any injustices, wrongs will be righted. It feels the universe is karmically supporting you with this justice card. Um, and it will restore balance. You know, there is definitely this energy of restoring balance in the result of some kind of new beginning opening up for you. And it's the beginning of abundance. And it will be the beginnings of celebration, joy, restoring some kind of stability in your home, uh, finding stability in your life, reconnecting to who you are. So I really like that energy here. I'm going to pull... A final card, final message for Gemini, please. Thank you. We have asked for help. Angels are celestial beings who protect everyone. And the fairies say now is the time for you to ask for angelic assistance. Yeah, it's available to you. I'm going to pull one more, Gemini. I love the golden coin. It's absolutely beautiful, the golden opportunity. And this is about being spontaneous. So for some of you, if it feels right, this is absolutely the drive. Go for it, you know. Um, magical blessings. Whatever you're going through, you're being assisted by the magical fairy blessings. The fairies say you can bless others too. You're being blessed. And I definitely feel for some of you that there is it's destiny. This is absolutely karmic destiny in some ways gemini this wonderful golden opportunity is coming your way the message says you might be waiting for some news here but that it is going to come and it's going to restore this stability and security in your life and reconnect you back in your elements so it definitely feels beautiful i hope you enjoyed the reading if you did please do like share and subscribe i hope it's a wonderful month for you all month week for you all <laughs> it possibly is a, the next you know the next few weeks it does say um and i will see you next time thank you